right so the first thing we will do is we will go and level up everybody because I earned a few skill points now what do we do here uh, that one can be ignored I don't know why they've taken that off can we can we remove that because we don't we don't need that anymore it's pretty it's pretty cool how I think it's only on the Varia, but it really was cool how you could do that many different ways. That's neat. Um, I'm not sure which one of these two to do first. I mean, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do these three side missions. Because um, these probably won't take long. Uh, that one will be interesting because it says Cerberus. Um, yeah, that was on, that was on the computer. So it's, yeah, it's mostly, uh, mostly, mostly Pharos side missions, and there's only three of them, so we can do this. I don't know when that's going to happen again. Um, level 42? I didn't even know I was that high. So... The cool thing is, apparently, uh, now that Vermeer has unlocked, Time Lady told me that I'm pretty much edging towards the end of the game, which I had no idea I was even doing. <laughs> I was very, I was very happy to hear that. I was like, "Oh shit, I'm almost done." So, interior. yeah, one of my biggest undertakings that I've ever done, and I'm doing so well that I've almost beat the game. I will take that. I'm not going to rush things. I am probably going to lean more towards the story missions now because I am pretty much, I'm over level 40 and I said that at level 30 I would start doing that and I'm already level 42 so <laughs> let's just level up all these dudes. I probably should have done his throw but never mind, I'll, um, I'll do all these. I don't, I don't know how he could use throw anyway. Isn't it only Bionics that can do that? No, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> atmosphere. The one thing I have done the is I've changed the... I've... Sure. Exo Presley has the deck. Yeah, I need, to, I need to get out of here. Stand by, sure party. Uh, I've also gone through a lot of my inventory and sold some stuff. Reduce Lord, stuff to army gel. The commanding officer is I'm just aboard. hoping I didn't. Exo I'm assuming all relieved. the stuff your squad has equipped is like already there. Like you can't really select it unless you take it off. So you can just kind of sell or army gel the rest. You're doing all these heat monitors, I'm missing that. <laughs> one thing I am going to do after. Oh, one thing I'm going to do after. Um, Leveling up everybody is I'm going to do the next batch of talk sessions. I wonder if like any of the other squad members have like Equalizing interior specific pressure, side missions to them. Atmosphere. Because that was one thing I did with Rex. I, I did that like complete accident. <laughs> so I want to I wanna know if anyone else has got... Okay, so they're already they're already leveled up because we took them on the Love. last mission. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the standby shore party. Right. Decontamination. So we'll go and talk to everyone, and then we will move Love. on, and we will the do the side mission. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo so now Presley stands relieved. Now I need to remember Um, <laughs> I think Tali's. It's Tali who's in here, isn't it? Like. I always I always forget where Tali is. <laughs> or is it, no, it's the Arla that's back here, isn't it? I always forget where Tali is. Kane's over there. I definitely want to do Tali first because I know I'm going to forget her if I don't. <laughs> but yeah, I went, I went to the lockers and I did all that already. 
So I've done all like the inventory pieces. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you. What? And making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. That's insulting. <laughs> we don't have the luxury of time. And Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. Yeah. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. Intimidating? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did during the Blitz. It was a remarkable display of courage and heroism. You looked that up. You spied on me. <laughs> you could have asked. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. <laughs> oh my god. These must be the renegade options. They're so like harsh. Me or the beacon. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. You what? I admit, your I didn't want to come off like that. Had something to do with my initial interest, but it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Well, I guess it's not serious, is it? He's, 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 I don't think he's actually said it out loud. He's kind of pushing it a little bit. Looks like these romances are starting to open up. I didn't think they are, it would be an option. Of all these people, um, I don't even know if Ashley can be an option. Uh... Caden, I guess, is the, 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 the obvious one, because uh, you're friendship. So Caden is like automatic. I'm not sure if Ashley's automatic because you're male shepherd. And all the other ones I wouldn't have seen coming. I mean, they are, makes sense, I guess. The Lieutenant and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? Huh. See, I didn't even think the R would be an option. Huh, so you can actually, like, be with someone who's not even the same species as you. That's interesting. Oh, now, now we're going to think about if I was to do anybody, who would I want? I don't even know which ones are open. Does that, like, is everybody open or is there a specific one? I, I, I'm assuming Caden is automatically, um, automatically open because you're Femshed. I'm not sure. I, I, I reckon Ashley is the male option. I, I, I'm almost certain of that. So, I, I don't know. I didn't even know 
That was it. I didn't even think uh, I was leaning towards that. Hmm. I, I... See, I think for I think for Mass Effect One, it sounds to me like it may be between the Ara, Caden, and the Ara and Caden by the looks of it. Garrus probably not, not at this moment. Oh shit! I have heard that the Ara is could be considered the the most popular option, but I didn't know if it was a. I didn't know it was a Femship option. I hadn't even really thought about it, to be honest. I know they were in the game, but I didn't really think about it. I guess I have to now. Caden was like the first sign back before. Caden was seemed really protective of you. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See... See, I, I think a lot of people, I'm assuming a lot of people would do the Liara option. So I kind of want to differ from that. And not because I don't, I don't like her, I just think it's, you know, the Liara story is what the most people have done. So maybe I want to differ from that. I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I haven't really thought about it. You know, there's no one here particularly that sticks out I, I, I doubt I doubt I, I doubt Garrus is an option I doubt Tali is an option and I doubt Ashley is an option so it's between Liara I don't think Rex almost definitely is an option either so in this game the only two viable romances are it seems like Liara and Caden slash Ashley depending on what femship you are I'm going to tell Liara to be friends, because I think a lot of people have done the Liara story a thousand times over. So I'm probably going to differ. I'm probably going to not... Do you know what? <laughs> I, I don't think I'm going to have a romance option in this game. I, I really don't. Because I don't think there's as many in this one. Like, Ashley Caden is depending on what femship you are. I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Yeah, no, that, I guess that locks her out. But... Ugh, crap. God damn it. See, I, when I find a romance, I want to stick to it. But I... <laughs> it seems like only in the first game is between Caden and Liara by the looks of it because I don't I don't think Tally will be an option neither will Garrus and Rex certainly won't so unless Ashley says something Commander which I doubt she's gonna do what's your opinion of the last mission gotta admire those colonials that's about the worst place for a colony I've ever seen given the option I get the hell out of Dodge mm-hmm <laughs> Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm off duty until tomorrow. I was gonna have a small drink. Bit of a celebration. If you're interested. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Fair enough. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. Huh. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. That makes sense. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Spit it out. <laughs> There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. <laughs> There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter. Commander of the Shanshi Garrison in the war. Really? The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Oh. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. 
Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty in a backwater agri colony. It takes a special kind of thick headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. That's why you dislike aliens. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the oh, I feel for supplies, I feel bad for the R now. I didn't even know. Oh man! Civilians were dying. His troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. Yeah, it's that kind of thing that just like oh, I feel bad now. I feel awful. <laughs> what happened to your I'm only doing it because I think of command as soon as I'm almost sure that most playthroughs would pick Liara, so I kind of want to differ. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He yeah, I, re I reckon. I reckon Ashley's not even an option. I didn't even think about it. I, I think Ashley Caden is the default option, depending on uh, what femship you are. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So oh, you're here. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? No. Of course not. You're part of the team, Williams. I don't care what your grandfather did or didn't do. Not to get all cheesy, but you're the first CEO who's ever said that to me. Thanks, Skipper. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Okay. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. Hmm. <laughs> Shepard. Distinction. We done these already? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. So long, Rex. Shepard. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Give it to me. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. Okay. Oh, so that's that's a specific Garrus mission. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Sarah. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do. And I'll do it. Thank you, Garrus. I'll keep that in mind. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do catch him. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If huh. we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to. I see what Garrus is saying. I see what about the Geth? They might try to free him. 
We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah. I see your point. Yeah. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So that's a garrison side mission that just opened up. So, yeah. Um, it's funny, though, because that's only the second one. I mean, we did Rex's early. I think I did that by complete chance as well. Right. I'm going to go do that as well, then. Uh, this is going to be a side mission session by the looks of it. I feel so bad for Liara right now. <laughs> I didn't mean to, like... Oh, man. I, f I feel awful. I keep forgetting where Tali is. Fuck. <laughs> I keep forgetting where she is. I suppose we should speak to Caden. Oh, Tali's... Tali's down here, isn't she? She's, um... Yeah, she's still, still here. No. No, that's the horror. What the fudge? I think we should talk to Caden. I... Oh. I mean, I knew Caden was interested. But yeah, I, I guess... I guess doing that locks me out with uh, Liara now.
No, I can he imagine. Before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. Yeah. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends mm. to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. Mm. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Oh, that already. I should go. See you later. Huh. Find Dr. Solion. So we'll probably do that as well. Hmm. Oh man, Liara, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if you get a chance to rekindle it later. Probably not. Maybe that's locked you out, but we haven't had time together since our last chat. Lot was said. We talked. <laughs> you mean <even> we flirted. <laughs> Something to add, Lieutenant, or are you just breaking in your thesaurus? <laughs> I don't want to distract you too much. The deeper we get into this mess, the bigger it seems. Just looking for a year. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Smug aliens will show them. <laughs> so can I guess this will add to your resentment against aliens? Resentment? Against aliens? I mean, I'm not... <laughs> what makes you think that? I think you carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus... I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand. It was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He heard a girl. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed. You know? Makes sense. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do. Just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent. Right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Damn. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Sat down by a kid. Vernus must have hated that. He didn't have time to hate it. I killed him. Snapped his neck. Damn. Stepping next like that. <laughs> if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bob training was shut down. 
natives folded a couple of years later. Hmm. It's funny. I'm not sure which of us got the worst of what 